Hello, welcome back to Grand Sushi Rice Noodling. In this episode, I will be doing kind of like a the breakdown or the making of this kind of setup that Benny Govertz is showing earlier on Twitter. So this kind of pause or tweet is always really interesting because you look at it and then you're kind of guessing how it works. And this is like a just a pure blender geometry nodes and modifier combinations in order for you to have this kind of bricks kind of setup and yeah apparently it's a uh, it's not hard to do and it's actually quite interesting I recommend you to try to do this yourself I will share the blend however uh, yeah if you start from scratch it's gonna be really interesting so like <clears throat> what Benny is doing here I started with a single vertex a single for a single vertex you can actually have a line line nodes inside geometry nodes with a count of one um, and then you can you don't actually need to do much you can do some offset etc but that's not important the next thing you need to do is just to do the screw so screw modifier allows you to do this um, we need two screw modifier because the first one only does that and the second one does this. The nice thing about using geometry nodes and then using modifier here is that you are creating uh, a mesh and the mesh will have a normal that you can use further. In this case, like I'm using the normal of the, the mesh being generated using screw modifier. So I can align <coughs> this uh, instance of Susan head. I can, yeah, I can do all sort of things scale it because it's now an instant so it's really quite simple but I will try to do everything from scratch because that's how we can learn so we can okay start with a cube hit tab and just delete everything so we have nothing in the scene and we're gonna use geometry nodes uh, to create a single vertex so this part should be easy. We are not using the original geometry. We are recreating it. So we have a single line. Uh, we actually only need one. So it's become a single vertex. It, we don't actually need any offset there. We can offset the, la, uh, the single points in X if you want to. We might need that. So the next thing we want to do is use screw modifier and we're gonna need two of them so first screw modifier I believe the first one we can kind of offset it in the Z or X simply by using this so this is all already kind of a way to offset the screw and create another screw modifier. I think the combination of the two is gonna make more sense. So this one is to make like a spiral, spiral stair, right? Uh, we don't need the iterations. I think we only need a single iteration. Um, we are doing it in the Z or the X. This one is almost like a for it's to make like a drill or something. Let me try to test this. Okay, we might need this. Let's try using X for now, and we can control the screw. Okay, that makes sense. If we use the instant, so let's just name this first single vertex. So single vertex, and then we we offset it and we screw, kind of spin it. So let's say this very quickly and then compare with the one that that I have earlier. So this is like a study screw gen. The instance thing will come 
later. You can try, however, uh, just instance geometry. So this is going to be to instance, gn instance, and we need Susan head. You just hide it, tap H. It's going to be instance Susan. With this guy, we already have geometry, etc. And then we want to instance Susan. Point scale. We have this kind of a very neat. It looks like a skeleton uh, stairs. So we just need to adjust this now. We can control this step subdivisions. So we have a lot of control actually with the screw. We definitely need the 360. I'm trying to guess what, what I did earlier, but we might need to take a quick look. Three sixty zero. Okay, let's save this. This is a completed project, so we still have angle there. And we have this screw offset in the z axis. Okay, this is z and z 260 0. Interesting. This is 0. This is z axis. So this one is actually doing kind of like an, an array with rotations. Interesting, really. And I think if I I need to go back here and give an offset. So this is really uh, this is the secret in making like the kind of like a brick. So three sixty. This one become zero. Oh. Okay, I screw it from here. This is the offset for the brick. Pretty interesting, right? And just after we do it, we all we do all that. All we need to do is just align the rotations with the attribute normal. Yeah, and align it in the X Y Z. You can have it like this. It's pretty weird having all Susan head facing you from the inside. The only thing when we are using like GN and multiple modifier is that in order to control this, you have a lot of parameters that you need to maybe drive using drivers. Um, other than that, it's, I think this is pretty cool. So I'm rotating Susan in axis. So it's not always the easiest to guess. This goes in there. So this is with Susan head, of course, but the the thing with this this is instant Susan, right? Plug it there. I think this is clean. If you're doing it this way, it's really clean. You can plug anything into here. Maybe if I'm using stretch off. So with stretch off, we already have spiral or those sort of things, brick. Uh, but don't worry about it now. I think 
we just need a box for the brick. So this is fair chop box. You can easily scale, etc. Let's see. This alpha, just drag it there. We have a brick of some sort. Right, so this is so interesting. It's not in the center. I wonder why. Oh, maybe I need to just adjust this screw slightly. But I think that's pretty decent looking brick. You can always subdivide this, randomize, give some kind of variations. Oops, not too much. This is the same brick for each one of them, but you can always use different instance. But that's uh, that's really the process. That's the whole process. Um, thanks again for Benny to, to show us this. Uh, it's very useful. Um, in the future, I hope that this screw, maybe eventually we have screw nodes inside geometry nodes, so we don't have this modifier, so everything is going to be packed into the geometry nodes. That's a really cool way of thinking. Um, okay, this should go there. What else I want to say? Ideally, we have like a single objects and then all the modifier, and then that single objects can be uh, controlled using custom attributes. That's becoming the most ideal, I think. Um, for now, yeah. I think this is a good example. Hopefully, you learned something. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.